In this tutorial, I'll show you how to send an email in Gmail using Google Service Account in Python. All right, so by default, we are working with most of the Google APIs, such as Gmail, Calendar, Drive APIs. Those services require you to go to the OAuth2 authentication protocol. If you are hosting a script on the cloud, then it is impossible for a program to self-authenticate, and by using a service account, we'll be able to bypass the OAuth2 authentication step. Before diving into the tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already have some experience working with Gmail API. Also, this method only works for Google Workspace accounts. Alright, so the first thing I want to do here, I'm going to create a brand new service account. So first, I'm going to navigate to console.cloud.google.com. Then I'm going to click on Navigation menu. APIs and services, then click on credentials. On the top, click on create credentials. And here I'm going to click on service account. I'm going to give this service account a name and let's call this a JJ testing. And it should be lowercase. Then I'm going to click on create and continue. And here I want to give this account a role. And for demonstration purpose, I'm going to give this account the owner role. Then click on continue. And for these two fields, I'm going to leave them blank. Then click on done to finish creating the account. All right, so here's the JJ testing account. I'm going to click on the account to navigate into the detail, the account detail. On the top, it shows the uh, keys. Now click on keys. And we're going to create a new set of key to tie to this account. So click on add key and click on create new key. I'm going to uh, save the credential as a JSON file. Now I'm going to save this file to my uh, project folder. And I'm going to name this file JJ underscore testing service key dot JSON. I'm going to open the JSON file. All right, so if we look at the JSON file, uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. I want to grab this client ID key. Uh, but for now, actually, let's do this. Let's go into uh, Google Admin's uh, console. So if we search for Google Admin, and it should be the first item on the list. And the website is going to be admin.google.com. And you can just uh, directly type in the web address. And here I'm going to choose my uh, workspace account. On the Google Admins page, want to click on security. If you don't see security, then click on show more to uh, show additional items. Now I'm going to expand securities folder, access and data control. And I want to click on API controls. On the API controls page, I want to scroll down to domain wide delegation. Right, so under the domain wide delegation section, click on manage domain wide delegation. On the domain wide delegations page, we want to click on add new. So basically, we're going to grant permission to uh, this service account that we just created to my workspace account. Now I'm going to copy the client's ID. I'm going to copy and paste. And for the all scopes, so these are the API services that you want to grant permission on uh, this account's behalf to allow this service account to be able to do. So for example, uh, let's say I want to uh, let this service account to be able to send emails on behalf of this email address. Now, if we go to Google Gmail documentation under the choose off scopes page, I'm going to grab uh, 
the mail.google.com's uh, scope. And scope will basically give me a uh, full permission to perform all the operations. Now we'll go back to the uh, this page. Now paste the scope value. If you want to allow uh, the service account to perform additional operations to other Google services, such as Calendar, Gmail, Drive, or even uh, U2 API, then we will grab those uh, scopes tied to other APIs and just copy and paste to here. But for now, I'm only going to give uh, Gmail permission to this service account. And once you're finished, click on Authorize. And here I can see the app name where this service account uh, belongs to. Alright, so at this point, uh, we'll have finished setting up all the uh, prep work. Now we're going to write the Python script to send an email uh, to myself. So here let me delete everything. Oh, and one more thing. So before you can uh, use Google API Python's client, you will need to install the package. And if you don't have the package installed, you can use the command pip install dash dash upgrade Google dash A-U-T-H. And it's going to be the pip command to install uh, the package that we'll be using. So from the import statement, let me increase the font size. I'm going to type from Google that OAuth to want to import the service account module. And me activate my environment. Next, I'm going to create a variable to link to the uh, client file, the service client file. I'll name the variable service account file. From the service account module, the credentials, I want to call the from service account file function. And I'll name the output credentials. All right, so inside the from service account file function, we need to provide two things. Service account file, and which is going to be the uh, service account's client file. And scopes. And I think this one is optional, but just to be safe, I always like to include the scopes that I would like to use. In this case, it's going to be the mail.google dot com scope and make sure that you include the uh, forward slash at the end and lastly we need to include uh, the email that we want to access and the parameter name is going to be subject and here we're going to insert the uh, workspace accounts email so I just realized something uh, since I'll be using Gmail's API uh, that means I need to install the uh, Python clients package to be able to uh, connect to Gmail's uh, service. So here we're going to install uh, three more packages. And one is the Google API Python client package. And the other two libraries are uh, these two libraries. Now going back to the import statement, from the Google API client module that discovery, I'm going to import the build function. All right, so here I'm going to name uh, the Gmail service instance as, let's name this as service Gmail. Then I'm going to insert the build function and we need to provide the API name. API version and the credentials. So here I'm going to set the credentials parameter with the credentials option. 
And for demonstration, I'm going to print my profiles uh, information. So from service, Gmail, dot users, dot get profile. And inside the get profile method, I need to uh, specify the user ID. And we're going to insert me dash queue. And I'll name the output response. And here I'm going to print the response option. Now, if I run the Python script, and let's take a look. Oh, so here I have a typo. This should be Google API client. Now, let me try again. And here I have another typo, and this should be service account file. All right, so if I execute the script, and it's going to print the Gmail's account information. And here's the email address in which the service account has uh, access to. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.